I'm Dr. Daniel Schechter. I'm the Executive Director of the Cannabinoid Medical Clinic here in Toronto. There's new regulations in, in place. They're called the MMPR, or the Marijuana for Medical Purposes Regulations. Patients are only able to access medical cannabis with a prescription from their physician in the mail from companies that are called licensed producers. Licensed producers are companies that have been approved by Health Canada to grow, sell, and distribute cannabis to patients who have a valid prescription. It used to be that patients were able to grow their own cannabis or have someone grow it for them or actually buy it directly from Health Canada. That's no longer the case. In the current regulations, patients are only able to get their pres prescription or their medication filled by a licensed producer and get their medication sent to them in the mail. A lot of the information is found on the internet and there are some very reputable resources out there such as those found at the Arthritis Society website. Other resources which are reputable include those from Health Canada that administers the medical cannabis program in Canada. There's a lot of other websites that are available for patients. Uh, websites that are hosted by licensed producers, those are the companies that produce herbal cannabis. But it's important to know that and understand that not all websites are created equal. Not all information out there is true and accurate. It's important to compare one website to another to ensure that you're getting the appropriate information. It's often very intimidating for patients to go and talk to their doctor about anything. And medical cannabis having such a stigma, it's especially anxiety provoking. And it can be very effective if you're well prepared when you go to that meeting. It can be very effective for you and also very useful for the physician that you're seeing, whether it be a physician that you have a long-standing relationship or a physician that you're seeing for the first or second time. It would be very uh, welcome by the physician if you had documents stating your condition with your treatments that you've tried in the past, uh, as what you've failed, and what you're currently using. Uh, and that will help them to determine where you are at in your disease course, as well as where you might uh, benefit in terms of therapies going forward. If you're still nervous or anxious about meeting your physician to discuss herbal cannabis or any other therapy, the Arthritis Society has a great guide to helping you prepare for these difficult conversations. Medical cannabis is a medication like anything else. And if you and your physician decide that medical cannabis is the right treatment for you, you should be able to have a conversation with your doctor about medical cannabis. You should be able to ask them all sorts of questions that hopefully they'll be able to answer and help guide you through your usage and initiation into medical cannabis. Some of the questions that you could ask your doctor include things such as, how do I take medical cannabis? How do I adjust the dosage? How do I uh, get it delivered? And am I safe when I use it? What kind of things can I do when I'm using herbal cannabis? Can I go to work? Can I interact with my family? And how is it going to change me? Other types of questions include, is it going to affect the other medications that I'm taking? Do I have to be monitored in any special way? And just like you have questions about other medications, you can ask the same questions about herbal cannabis. Medical cannabis refers to prescription cannabinoids, which can be a capsule. It refers to phytocannabinoids, which can be either herbal cannabis, oils, or even a pharmacologic preparation in the form of a spray that you spray into your mouth. This can be obtained from a pharmacy. Physicians who are prescribing medical cannabis should be comfortable prescribing all ranges of cannabinoids, not just the plant. Sometimes capsules are much more effective for certain patients and are more appropriate for any number of reasons. First off, they are covered under most public and private insurance plans. And uh, it might just be easier if they're not able to inhale, 
if uh, they have lung disease or for any other number of reasons. So if your doctor, if you and your doctor are talking about herbal cannabis and whether it's right for you or not, and they don't bring up other options such as capsules, sprays, oils, you may want to consult with a different physician who is more comfortable with the variety of cannabinoids that are available in clinical practice.